What's happening, y'all? It's your man Sam and here at Viral Hip Hop News. Listen, do me a favor. You see the brother right now on your screen. Go down to my description box and follow Chakra Doctor at Chakra Doctor TV on YouTube. Your only place to find miracles you won't put down. Grab the House of Lazenberry series by author Daniel Webb since his controversial interview at the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. The books can't stay on the shelf. Grab the series, The House of Lazenberry, The House of Lazenberry 1970H, and The House of Lazenberry, A Time to Hill. Link. In the description box. Man, what happened? What happened? And they were like, yo, yo, Tyson bit his ear off. I was like, what? Like, it, was, it, was, it was crazy at the arena. It was crazy. And by the time we, we finally, you know, made our way back, you know, behind stage and he was getting his ear stitched up, it was like we were all just kind of speechless. Like, we just couldn't understand what happened. And then as the days rolled on past that, it was like, wow, we, we just never knew it was going to be the big moment. Oh, sorry. We just never knew that it was going to be the big moment that it turned out to be. Now, the transition, you, you've you taken us as men full circle from young boys to men and having crushes on you. Like, you just <laughs> leveled it, it from Shireen to Jody's mama. But let's start with Shireen and, and House Party, because you talked about how you went from going to Keenan Ivy Wayne's in a living color to kind of shooting right over to it in the blink of an eye. I mean, yeah. You talk about the cast and the crew with Robin Harris. Um, the late, great Robin Harris, the late, great John Witherspoon, Chris Reed, Chris Martin, Tisha Campbell. The list goes on and on. I can just name them. Like, like A bunch of names come to mind. Talk about that experience, getting on that set with such legendary people, comedians, actors at the time, and how was the vibe during that um, the whole movie, the creation of that? Um, no one was legendary. Yeah. You, know, you have to remember that. You know, we were all artists who were either up and coming, Martin Lawrence up and coming. Tisha was probably the most highly decorated talent on the set. And by the time we did House Party, she and I were great friends because I met her while I was in Atlanta still doing um, uh, school days. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so, so uh, you know, she was a big part of me moving to LA. She was my first and best friend in LA. Um, by the time we did House Party, and it's so funny because I see comments on Instagram now and people see us together and they're like, oh my God, it's so great that y'all are still friends. And I want to say, you know, I keep saying, y'all, we were friends before House Party. The fact that we actually did the movie together was the blessing, but we were friends even before that. So what you saw in House Party was actually our friendship. You know, we were dressed in costume and had different names, but it was really our friendship. If you watch us together now, and we're not really that different um, as Sydney and Shireen, but, um, you know, Robin Harris was a, was a comedian blowing up. Kid and Play were obviously, you know, big in the music industry and getting bigger. So it wasn't like we were legends. We were we were artists who, a uh, chill, you know, Daryl Chill Mitchell. We were all artists who were happy to have this opportunity, who were um, interested in the fun that Reggie um, Hudlin, writer, producer, director, and Warrington Hudlin, his brother, that they you know, told us they wanted us to have. They told us about what they wanted to capture. And I was probably the one who, from the college environment, from an HBCU, I was bringing the, the party scene. You know, again, there was no party even in the script. I've, ta I've told that story a couple times, that there was no party in the actual script. There was no dance scene, I should say, in the actual script. There was a party, but there was no dance battle. And that was the environment that I came from. You know, we, yeah. the fraternities and sororities battled all the time. You know, the freshmen battled against the sophomores, the girls battled against the boys, Selma Morehouse. That was the environment I was used to was dance battle. So I was like, you know, where the dance battle at? And they were like, mm -hmm. what's the dance battle? And I was like, what? There's no party without a dance battle. And yeah. so that's where that came from. Oh. But, but isn't it interesting that we weren't, you know, and I think this is the best part about going back to what was it like on set. Um, we weren't thinking about becoming legends or being iconic. We weren't thinking about creating an iconic classic film. We were thinking about having a good time and we hoped that Reggie was capturing it on film. You know, Reggie and Warrington were open to ad libs. You know, we didn't have to stick to the script. I think they, they trusted who they found to cast. Mm -hmm. And I gotta tell you, you know, now that we're celebrating like 30 years, can you believe that? That, you know, Ooh. Yeah. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. But when we get together, ain't shit changed. That's the crazy That's part. Right. Ain't nothing changed. Our chemistry is the same. Our humor is the same. We laugh as hard. We cry as hard. We joke with each other. 
um, we just did a, a, a salute to house party for the Apollo. It was virtual because of the pandemic, but we did a salute to the Apollo. Uh, we did a salute to house party um, with the Apollo. And it was the first time that all of us were together, probably in years, uh, like all of us. Mm. And we were laughing. It was on Zoom, but we were laughing and talking like the day we were on set. Mm. And so it really taught me that the chemistry is, is untouched and that you could put us in any story. You could put us in House Party Cast goes to the supermarket and it would still be what you got. You, you see what I mean? It would still be the same chemistry, the same laughs, the same jokes, the same love for each other. Um, that was just something that that that's who we were. And, and, and putting us in that particular story and environment was smart of Reggie. But all these years later, we haven't changed. And that's what I value the most. Yeah. Right. I heard you all. Crying. I'm over here tearing yeah. up. Wow. Wow. Yeah. It's just yeah. It's sentimental, yeah. you know? And, and to do movies since then, to do, you know, 20 plus movies since then and TV shows since then, um, I'm honored and I'm humbled that I've been able to have a career that spans that kind of time. But there's nothing like that experience. Same thing with Baby Boy. There's nothing like that experience, you know? Um, there's nothing like working with a John Singleton. You know, um, it's why Tyrese and I are still tight. It's why Vin and I are still tight. It's why Tisha and I are still tight from working. You know, a lot of people do a film and you never hear that their relationship lasted right. beyond the film, you know? True. True. Now, as big as the film was,